Welcome back, MG fam, to the Prairie View Legacy here on College Hoops 2K8. And you guys know what time it is. We're now ready to head into conference play with a 72 record. But before we dive into the action on the court, let's check in on our recruiting efforts. First up, we have the three-star Juco shooting guard from Norfolk, Virginia. Currently, we find ourselves ranked seventh out of the nine schools on this list. Unfortunately, it seems like Hampton University is his top choice. But if he signed with those guys, I'm okay because that's a fellow HBCU squad. On a more positive note, our pursuit of the five-star All-American shooting guard from Fort Worth, Texas is going strong. We're thrilled to announce that we're still at the top of his list. And this is a testament to the incredible program we're building here at Prairie View. And I hope we can continue to impress him because Coach Ubaka's future is riding on the commitment of this kid. And moving on, you guys know we're targeting a four-star shooting guard hailing from Brooklyn, New York. Currently, we hold a third-place spot among his top schools with UConn claiming the number one spot. We won't back down even though UConn has location on their side. And next on the radar is the three-star center from Fresno, California. The good news is that we're currently at the top of his list. However, we can't ignore the looming competition from Fresno State, who's in second place, and we need this guy to sew up our interior after Big Mac leaves this year. Lastly, we have another center. He's a three-star from Detroit, Michigan. While we find ourselves at the number three spot on his list, it's important to note that we're the only offer on the table for him right now. It looks like he's waiting for a specific offer, but we're gonna keep fighting. But we're gonna stay on the recruiting topic, and we're gonna check out what's been going on around our conference. So first up, you can see Southern. They made a splash by signing two Juco centers. The first of those two centers is a three-star prospect and the second is a two-star. So they got some quality there at the center position. And meanwhile, Texas Southern has secured two unranked two-star small forwards. So that gives these guys some versatility. They can play those guys at the two or the four. You never can have too many small forwards. And Alabama A&M signed a two-star center who ranks in the top 800 and an unranked two-star shooting guard. It seems like everyone in the conference is trying to secure the services of a good big man. And moving on, you can see that Alabama State brought in a two-star point guard who's among the top 600 players. And they also pulled in a two-star unranked center. And next is the Alcorn State guys. They've been pretty busy. They signed three players. One of those players was a three-star shooting guard who is ranked amongst the top 300 players, a three-star power forward who is ranked in the top 400, and a two-star center who is ranked in the top 500. Yo, Alcorn State is coming, bro. And next up is Arkansas Pine Bluff who added an unranked two-star small forward and a one-star unranked center to their team. And moving on, we can see that Grambling landed one player who was a two-star shooting guard. He's a top 700 player, but hey, one player, shooting guard, Grambling's been struggling as well these previous years. And we can also see that Jackson State added a two-star Juco power forward to their roster. He's coming with some type of experience. And last but not least, Mississippi Valley State has signed an unranked center. So don't get it confused. There will be some more players signed in the offseason, but right now, Alcorn State is in the top spot when it comes to recruiting right now. And speaking of the season, a lot of the teams in our conference struggle when it came to the non-conference schedule. We have a lot of one-win teams. The most wins by any team outside of ourselves came from Mississippi Valley State who won six games. Alcorn State won three. And then you had Jackson State winning two, Texas Southern winning three. And hopefully we can finish this year with multiple teams above 500, but that's going to take a lot of effort here in conference play. And right now, as usual, we're the top scoring team in our conference. Texas Southern holds the top spot for most rebounds. We hold the top spot for assists and steals per game and blocks per game goes to Alcorn State. The leading scorer in our conference right now is Frank Reynolds from Texas Southern. He's averaging 23.5. The most rebounds goes to Duffy at this point from Alcorn State. 10 rebounds a game. And one of the point guard from Mississippi Valley State 
averages the most assists with 5.3. Kamen from our squad averages 3.6 steals per game, which puts him in the top spot. And there goes Duffy once again with the most blocks per game, averaging almost three. Even though we don't have the top score when it comes to the conference, we have four players averaging double digit points, bro. Kamen with 20, Stapley with 18, Big Mac with 12, 11 coming from Townsend off the bench, and Adams easily could be a double digit scorer, but he's giving us 8.6. So you can see this team is pretty deep. We're sharing the ball around and we're putting points on the board. But now we're going to slide on into our first matchup here in conference play where we will face the Jackson State Tigers. They're currently 2 and 6. And the only bright side about this squad is their coach. The top player on this team is Ball to Power 4. He's averaging 15 points per game. He's their leading rebounder and their leader in blocks per game. But tonight he's going to have trouble going up against our guy, Kamen, because we know Kamen can do it all, baby. So let's get this thing popping. So out here, we're on the road, our first game. I don't think anybody in our conference is going to give us a hard time. And coming out on our first possession, we turned the ball over. And they go all the way to the rack, misses that one, but Kamen got that rebound for us. And Adams over there in the corner, Stapley. Oh, I thought she was going to pull that one, Playboy. But Big Mac gets us on the board with the first points of the game. All right, so Coulter pulls a quick three-pointer. He's off of that one, but Ball, their leading scorer, he got the first points for them. And Coulter is pushing it down. And Moody, oh, pulling the rim down like that. Very powerful jam. All right, so Adams going to keep this one over to Kamen. Kamen. Back to State, and Stapley drains a big one for us. All right, so Coulter with it, kicking it over to Hull. Hull is a nice player. He knocked down his first three-point of the game. All right, so Adams with it once again. Going to kick this one to Big Mac, and Big Mac, big statement there, baby. He's going to go to the line and try to capitalize on the three-point play, and he got it. Let's go. All right, so on the inbound, they turned the ball over, and Cameron got another basket for us. All right, so Stapley waiting on that pick from Cam. Cam, easy money. So it's time to pull away, baby. We're up by five here. Ball lost that one. Running the floor. Too much speed. He jams it. All right, so Barrett is in here. Off the bench, kicks that one to Big Mac. Big Mac, nobody in the conference can contain this guy down bottom. And he gets another three-point opportunity, which he missed. And he got the steal back, though. And he would jam it. Oh, they blocked my boy, but he still made it. So he got another chance at a three-point play. And he cashes in on that. All right, so Kalia with it. Getting blocked in the paint. The freshman Townsend is unstoppable on the defensive end. And check him running the floor. Nice moves there, baby. Let's go. So Townsend's going to kick that one down. He can do it all as well. He can run the point if we want him to. And Ball ended up missing that one. We're up huge here by 21 points. And Barrett throws the alley. Beautiful alley to Oganoi in that halftime. We're up by 26 points, shooting over 50%. And we didn't make one three-pointer. Imagine if we would have made at least two of those. And our leading scorer is Big Mac. He has 10 points and five rebounds at the halfway point. All right, so Coulter is coming out here in the second half, firing up a three. So maybe that's a good sign for them. And we're going to kick it back to Barrett. Barrett. Kicking it down. Clark. Got it. Let's go. So we're going to continue to push it, baby. They trying to trap us here early on. And Clark, wide open from three. Give it to my boy, easy. All right, so Barrett with it once again. Barrett going to kick down over Townsend. Back to Barrett, mid-range jumper. Buckets, baby, let's get it. All right, so Clark waiting on the pick from Townsend. Townsend, what you got? In the paint. Get out of the way, little boys. All right, so Malone up top with it. Trying to get something. Kicks that one down. Got Rob Stapley with the quick hands. His second steal of the game. And check out the beautiful layup. Give it to my boy. All right, so Adams with it once again. Kicking it down. Cameron, that's too easy. All right, so they're going to pull another three. Quick one. It's off. All right, so my boy's pushing it once again. Lil Mac said, y'all can't even contain me. All right, so 69 to 50 here. Let's see if we can go up by a dub again. Kicking that one down. Townsend, unstoppable. All right, so up top, you got Colton Malone, mid-range jumper that clinks off the rim, and we're going. And Clark, nice little hezzy cross buddy up, then flushed it. All right, so Malone with it once again. Hole's going to pull that one off the front of the rim, and Clark pushing the issue. Slings it over. Lil' Mac, 
too easy for my boy let's go and that wraps up the first game here in this double header where we won 80 to 54 and the player of the game goes to clark off the bench check out that crossover that was crazy he had 11 points four rebounds four assists and two steals hey coming off the bench giving us double digit points we will always love that baby so we're going to slide on to our next game where we're facing the four and eight alcorn state braves we're on the road once again and maybe this team will give us some type of competition. They have three players averaging over 10 points per game. And there goes Duffy doing his thing. So their head coach Ogden is coming off of a 13-19 season. And he don't want to repeat another season below 500. So we know he's going to give us his best out here tonight. So off the tip off, we got it. Let's go. So Stapley kicking it right. Big Mac. Let's go. I love those one-handed jams by Big Mac. And Archie, he's a pretty decent point guard. He's going to kick it over to Bay. And Bay knocks it in for the three. All right. So we're down. Let's see how long we will stay behind. Not too long, baby. With Big Mac flushing it with his second jam. All right, so Archie with it once again. Pulling that one. Drains the three, and they're up once again. All right, so you got Adams. What you got for him? Kick it down. Big Mac. Give it to us. All right, so Bay with it. He's trying to get some more points. He kicks out in the Sosa. Carpenter, that's good D, but he still burnt us. All right, so the pick is set. Kicking it down. Cammon. Three guys can't stop the dude. All right, so Adams, State, State caught him slipping. State kicks it back to Adams. Big three-pointer. He banged it in. All right, so off the inbound. We almost had our hands on it. Well, we finally got it in Olga Noe. Let's go, baby. All right, so Bay going to try to pull this one. He's off. Big rebound from Towns in his first other game. And Kane will kick that one to Olga Noe. And whoa, you going to flush it like that, fella? All right, so Bay kicks that one. Oh, got a hands on another one. And Stapley out front. He's going to jam it. Let's get it going, baby. We're up by six here. Almost lost that one. Well, we ended up losing it. And check out Milton. He's going to kick that one. Stapley, good hands, but we couldn't get it. And Bay is going to pull another three. The guy is on point from deep. All right, so Big Max, I'm going up with it. He misses it, but the tip in goes in for him. All right, so Duffy caught us off our feet, goes to the rack. Quick basket for him. So this is a little tighter than we were expecting. 24 to 19 here. He's going to kick this to Cammon. And Cammon, sweet touch off the backboard. All right, so Walker going to pull one. Oh, and they hit us with a foul. So he got a chance at a four-point play here. Walker misses that one. And Big Mac slings it down court. Look at that football pass. He's going to kick that one over to Cammon and Cammon with the big basket. All right, so Barrett with it once again. Kicking that one to Townsend. And Townsend puts it in for us. All right, so look at Barrett with those nice hands. That's his second steal. And he will flush it. Let's go, baby. All right, so Archie kicks that one to Solson. And Solson, whoa. Whoa, you're going to take it like that, fellas? So he's at the line right now. Trying to cash in on a three-point play, and he couldn't. But Rogers got it back for him, puts it up, and he's going to the line. So he has a chance at it, and he misses it. But we got the board. We're only up by six here, and let's see what Barrett got. Barrett's going to wait, kick that one. Big Mac. Let's get it, baby. All right, so another pick is set. Cammon, don't care about the contact. Give it to my boy. He has eight points. And check out Kane. Kicking it over. Clark, hand in the face. He burnt the boy. Let's go. All right, so Cammon kicks that one to Big Mac. Back to State. State don't care. He's pulling that one. All right, so we're moving, baby, up by double digits. 13 to be exact. And check out Cammon. Flushing it. Let's go. We're trying to get it. And there goes Stapley once again. Oh, y'all going to let him get a free lane like that? Stapley will take it. And at halftime, we found a way to get out ahead by 16 points. Yo. We needed that cushion, and we're shooting close to 70%. Not great from the three-point line, but we're doing everything else, baby. Kevin has 14.7 rebounds. Big Mac has 15 and three. So the big boys are doing their job. And out here in the second, you got Bay firing off a three-pointer to start this thing off. And Sosa kicks that one over. Bay with another jumper. He is feeling it early. All right, so Adams. Oh, look at that pick by Cam. He throw Buddy on the floor. Let's go. All right, so Stapley going to get it back down. Oh, a bad pass, but Stapley almost had it back. And he's going to sling it up there. And Solson got his team. 
within 11. We're going to kick this one down to Cam. Cam back over to State. Let's go, State. I know you had it, buddy. So we got another pick set by my boy Townsend, and he will get the basket in the paint. All right, so you got Archie with it once again. Archie kicking it back to Bay. Yo, this dude is on fire. He has 14. All right, so we're going to see if State can answer back. And yes, sir, he does. Quick stuff. So Bay is going to pull another one. And he drained a big one again. And check out Cammon in the paint. Too close for my boy. So we're up by 13 right now. Kicking it over State. And Bay going to go back to back if they want us to. He has three three-pointers. And check him out again. Kicking it back to State. State misses that one, but Townsend with the rebound. Gonna kick that to Cam. Cam faking it. Back to State. Give him another one. He's not gonna miss two in a row. Let's go. All right, so we're up by 21 right now in Stapley. Going all the way to the rack, contact, and I'll give it to my boy. All right, so they're gonna try to fire one up quick here. He's off. We got less than seven minutes left in this game, and we're out ahead with a lot of room. And there goes Barrett getting him some of it. Barrett has it once again. He's going to try to get to the rack. Oh, check out Clark in the corner too much, and he bangs that one. All right, so Barrett waiting. Pick set. Got it down. Townsend, let's go. So we're going to wait for another pick. Townsend, you want another basket? No, sir. We're going to take it ourselves. There you go, Barrett. Nice move. And there goes Clark to Lil Mac. Too much room. Y'all can't get out there fast enough. And we're out here with less than a minute left now. And we're going to just give this one to Townsend. And that's too close. Give it to my boy. And we ended up beating the Alcorn State Braves. 102 to 68. Pretty close in that first half. But that second half, we couldn't be stopped. And Stapley is the player of the game with 22 points, 5 assists, and 1 steal. And he went 50% from deep. And you can see as a squad, we did exactly what we needed to do. Almost shot 70% for the whole game from the floor. 41% from three. Killed that thing. Cabin had 20. Big Mac had 16. Townsend had 13 off the bench. And you already know Cabin had to get a double-double. He couldn't just give you 20 points. He had to give you 11 rebounds as well. And we move on. And you guys know we we're trying to go undefeated in conference play like we always do. And you know it's your boy McGruff, man. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching these videos. Hit that like button, that notification bell, and subscribe to the channel, man. And we're out of here. One.